way better can cook Think you know you pay your pretty look You want to live a restaurant and come done man bang book Cook, eh, recipe book Why in the kitchen cause you and them no look you better cook Think you know you pay your pretty look You want to live a restaurant and come done man bang book Cook, eh Welcome back to my channel. I'm Amanda Dream. Yes, guys, today I'll be doing pineapple chicken and roti. So stay tuned, guys. Don't leave an inch. You can't miss this awesome meal. Stay tuned and watch this with me. So, right here, I have my chicken. This is some chicken breast that I already seasoned up. I season it with some um, Maggi All Purpose along with salt. There's some scallion, sweet peppers, garlic, and some thyme. Here I have with me my bell peppers, a tomato, onion, and some Maggi All Purpose because I'll be just cooking these down. So probably I'll just need some extra, you know, season along with it. Here is my dough. I will be just making like two roti. So I don't need much though. So and um, here I have some garlic and my scotch bonnet pepper. I have some flour to do the roti, you know, to powder my my board so the roti doesn't stick. Here I have some cooking oil. Yes, just for my roti. So, and I have my nice pine here. Mm, two nice pine. I got this one for my friend. Shout out to you. Thank you. Yes, um, stay tuned with me, guys. Yes, just watch this, okay? First, I think I'll be starting with my. Let me see, let me see. I'll be starting with the roti first. Yes, I'm gonna do the roti first. So stay tuned with me and watch how I do this. Okay, guys, so first, I'll be just washing my hands. Okay, so first, I'm just gonna start with my roti. Right, I'm just gonna make about two or three of them. So let me just put some flour onto my cutting board so that the roti doesn't stick and put some flour onto my dough as well. Right, so I'll be just putting this into two because I'm going to just make two of them only two only okay all right okay guys so while i'm doing this i'm making sure to put some flour on top of the dough so that it doesn't stick to the board while rolling make sure you're rolling it in a circular motion as well guys and if you don't have any uh if you don't have any roller please as you're seeing over there i have a bottle i'm going to show you how to use it yes <laughs> guys i got that idea from a movie I got that idea from a movie. I was watching a movie on Netflix where I see when the the guy used a bottle to roll his dough. And I was like, oh my god, is this for real? Is this for real? So guys, if you don't have a roller, don't worry yourself. Yes, this is how it's going to look. Right? I could get it a little bit bigger than this. But I don't want it too thin because when it's in the pot, it could like you know. Yes, yeah, so because a lot of person like to fold it and roll it again. I don't want to do that. So I'm just doing like I'm showing you guys how to do like one fold. I don't have no time to like roll in and yeah. so I rest it aside. Okay, let me just rest this aside as well. The next one. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do with a bottle right it's great it's, it comes out just the same as all the roller would like do it so look guys this is how you do it but first you have to show that your bottle is clean get a clean bottle with no labels to avoid the spreading of germs make sure to like you know 
because we're using a bottle the flour like will stick onto this the door so yes I could just roll this now sticking onto the bottle so ensure to like put flour onto the door and then we'll use your hand to light the bottle like this so it's very simple and easy it's nothing hard it's very simple and easy I see it's getting out like quite well yeah and the roll just like that so if you don't have any roller and you want to try this um, meal guys you can like use the bottle that you have in your home it can be like a rum bottle or anything like that right yes you see look at that from the bottle guys isn't this like awesome you understand so you utilize what you have in your home not because you don't have the right materials you're not going to try out new stuff okay so look at that my roti you see it's like nice using the bottle right bottle i love to watch things and i love to like you know because i get like new ideas i tried it first and i was like whoa really so yes guys i'll show you how i have show you how to like roll your roti with the roller and i show you how to roll it with a bottle ensure to not roll it too thin because it can like tear when you put it in the pot okay guys so now i'm just going to oil my pan so put in the roti you first have to oil the pan bottom right before you add the roti to the pot Ensure that you're using. Okay. Bye. <laughs> oh my God! And then you oil the top. This roti is like so big, y'all. Be careful when oiling it because you don't want it to like tear. So you put the oil on the top to cook it. Yes. So you see, guys, my roti is popping. It's popping. Look at that. Oh wow! It's popping. Okay. Yes. So let me just do this. As you see, I have to like flip this like real quick. So let me flip this. So guys, um, oops. and then you do the same procedure for this as well. Put some oil on this to let it cook and stuff. I like when mine is like well brown. A lot of persons don't like it, but I like it. You know. So I don't really use any baking powder when making my roti because I can't bother when I'm like rolling it is like breaking and stuff. So I just you I just need the flour. That's it. I just need it all without salt. I don't add salt either because um you know the chicken will like have a lot of salt and you know I can't take the salt and stuff. Right. So. Though my mother would say the salt is good for me because I have low blood count, but I don't like much salt in my food. Yeah. I like my roti just like this. So I'm gonna flip this again. Wow. 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 Yes, this is so, so gorgy. Go gorgy. Yes, I'm going to do the same thing for the other one. The other one is like sitting there waiting for me to like pick it up. But guys, I do hope you're enjoying this. Yes, don't forget to subscribe, guys, and share and comment and let me know what you think. So if you so this is it. Yeah, I like when it will brown. It takes take this out now. Yeah, this one can. Right. Let's see. Right. 
Now on the singer announcement news on Sunday, we will be at the festival alongside his uncle for an uncle and Roma respective oil in the top. Which of Ezekiel and stuff. You know how it goes. I need to get like a brother pan for when I am um, put it into my roots because this pan is like a little bit too round, meaning no roti. It, you know, it, 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 it's best when you have like a flat surface to put the roti into so you can just lay it out. So this is going to have a curve, but you can still use. Yes, as, as I said, the use that you have in your home till you get the correct materials, okay? Don't afraid to do so, don't afraid to do so, do so, do so. Okay guys, I'm so enjoying the kitchen right now. Yes guys, and uh... Yay! And I'm just going to like oil the top of this. You do this guys for it to cook. So if you're saying, so why I have to oil it like so many times? If not, the roti won't be able to cook. So yes, you have to do it over and over and over. Over. And please do not pour the oil into the pan like you're gonna fry an egg, okay? Just use a brush, use a brush. And I think you will definitely need a brush because I can't use like a spoon or anything. I don't know. I've never seen that, seen that before. So I'm just going to flip this over. See, it's like awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. Yes. Yes. So after this, guys, I'll be just doing my uh my you know pineapple chicken yeah 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 okay another flip and this is the last flip make sure to gauge your stove when doing this you know subscribe 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 hey 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 This roti is like, you know, folding and stuff, but it's okay. It's okay, you know, it's okay. <laughs> yes, yeah, so this is it. It's finished. Mm -hmm. you guys how it's done. This is it, guys. Nice. Nice and easy. Let me show you guys. Yes. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to put this down and start my my chicken. Okay, I'm going to slice my pineapples into like square dices and get back to you guys. Just off like real quick. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to cut this in half. This kind is all the way from Ocherias. So let me see if it likes sweets. It's nice and thick. That's all I can say. It have me cutting and all. Alright. So I'm just going to like cut this. Just like this. I can like use the skin and make some juice. Definitely will do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right, so I'm just peeling the skin off. Just so that I can slice it up into fine dices. Alright. So guys, I will be just doing the pine like this. 
I'll be just doing this. This is how I dice them. I just do it like this. I already dice like a whole lot. I just leave this one to let you see how I do it. I'm going to be taking those out and I cut them. So this is how I dice them like into like triangle. Fine dices. Alright. So this is how I do it. Okay. So I'm now going to like stir fry my chicken breast. Because it's chicken breast, so it's very easy to cook. So I'm just going to stir fry my chicken breast, cut up my season, and add it into my pot. You guys will see how I'm going to do that. So you know, stay tuned with me while I do this. I'm just like my hands is so juicy <laughs> so juicy you know I just want to lay it out okay guys mm. stay tuned with me while I finish up so this is how I dice them you know I don't use all of my pine so I just dice it in like triangle size and stuff I have a nice one here. I'm going to be using this one to make some pine juice, pine and ginger. So yes, I'm just going to do my stir fried chicken breast now so you guys will see how that is done. Stay tuned with me. Okay guys, so I'm just going to like cut up some of these um, season from now. So I'll be using half of this onion, right? I'll be using half. Of it. I'll be using a piece of this. I need the red part of this one. I'll be using a piece of this as well. tomato right here I have my spring onion so I'll be just washing off these vegetables dice them here I have some thyme as well so let's start the side I'll be just washing these off okay let's dice let's dice okay I'm just gonna dice these up. I'm so scared of this knife. This knife is like sharp. It's full sharp. Okay. So yeah. Doing this. So have like a flavor, you know different flavors and stuff and stuff <laughs> guys please remember to subscribe to my channel uh follow me on follow me on ig at gabriela romantic the amanda spice in on his shirt white t-shirt is now out you get a chance to see that right here in this video i upload a picture so my t-shirt is no hot and um i have my amanda spice amani sauce which you guys you know um some of you guys are familiar with and yeah 
so there's a lot going on more to come more amazing stories news meals to come <laughs> all right so i'm just dicing these like real nice you know real nice no no but that's but that's love cook yeah i love cook i love to cook guys i love to cook but love cook bad do i love cooking on it no and i don't know i eat a lot but <laughs> where is the weight like where do where does the food goes i want to gain a little bit of you know weight and stuff like uh, 20 more pound like oh my god it's one more stone oh my god. yes guys so i'm just cutting up the onions as you can see nice and easy i'm just doing my tomato I like to dice them big when doing stir fry, you know, yes, but you could dice them fine if you want, I just love to do it like this, So yes, finally finished cutting up these. Oh my god. Okay guys, so I'm finished dicing my you know my seasoning and such. This is it. Nice, nice. All those colors. Let me show you that. All the colors and stuff. Yeah. Okay guys, so let me just light up this and engage my stove in like two teaspoons of oil to my pan, that's enough. As you see, it's already hot because this pot is like easy to hot. Easy. So that's like, that's like a four teaspoon. I'm just going to add my chicken into this. Okay. I let this chicken, I seasoned this chicken from yesterday for it to marinate and you know, absorb the flavors and stuff. So this was marinating for like one day because I wanted to like absorb all the flavors and all of that. So I'm just going to let this stir fry. It's chicken breast, guys. It's easier when you use chicken breast when you're doing your Hawaiian uh, pineapple chicken or just pineapple chicken. It doesn't matter if it's Hawaiian or whatever. As I see, it's cooking. You have to like be around this 24/7 because you can't just leave it there and get off. You have to be around. 
that's the thing about cooking. You have to pay like a lot of attention. So you see here the color is like changing. I'm going to do it on camera. So be back with you in five minutes. Okay guys, so it's tender now. Right? It's now tender. As you can see, it's a little tender, you see? So what I'm going to do now, knowing that it um, has a I'm just going to add like some soy sauce into this. I won't be using much. Pop a color and stuff. Okay, guys, this is how we do it. This is how you do it. This is how you do it. <laughs> Why? That's sad. Okay, I'm just gonna add a little bit more because I need I need the shape to be a little darker than that. Yes, I'm just going to add like a little bit more. Chop sorry, you guys will know this. You guys will know this step that I'm doing now. Okay. Okay guys, so you see how I added my you know, and if you're using browning, please do not use a lot of browning because the browning color is very high. Okay? It's real, real strong. So when using the browning, use like one teaspoon of browning. It's going to have just a little bit more. One teaspoon of browning. When using the brownie, I like to use the soya sauce because with the soya sauce, I can know how much I need and I can know like when it reaches the shade that I will have. So now that it has a shade that I'm looking for, you know, it's already stir fried. As you can see, it's already breaking. See? It's breaking. So what I'm going to do now. I am now going to add in my my chocolate. 
top the vegetables. First, add the onion, the onion. Then, my tomatoes. My bell peppers. ginger into my pineapple chicken but I'll be using the ginger powder it's Maggie all purpose but it has the ginger thing so it gives it a nice flavor so this is about two teaspoons because I have the I'll be adding some water to this, so this is why I'm adding a little extra seasoning onto this. So that was like two teaspoons of Maggi season, and I was just adding some milk pepper. That's about one teaspoon as well. And I'm just going to mix this all in. Okay. Looks yummy, not sure. Yeah, I know. I know it. I know it. <laughs> okay, you guys. So, I'm not going to pause the camera because I want you guys to see the full, the full stuff of this. Alright? Okay. So, this is ready. If I was doing like stir, um, chicken chop soy, no, I would just adding my. My pop show and stuff, you know. Yeah, love chicken chop soy, man. I won't be adding pepper to this because pepper with pineapple, uh, I don't think that's gonna be a great com mixed combination. So I'm just going to like add in the box to this now. So, guys, I'm not going to add in my pineapples to this. along with one teaspoon of pineapple juice so let me just like mix this in there it is so yes I've had it my so what I'm going to do now I'm just going to let this simmer for about two minutes I'll get back with you guys soon okay guys so let's check up on our okay so it's going on well it's looking all nice there's a pineapple looking all nice I'm just going to let this simmer for about the, uh, two more minutes. Two more minutes. Okay. okay, guys. So I just added like a couple more, you know, bell peppers and some um, three slices of scotch bonnet pepper. For flavor, you don't have to have much because it's it's finished. It's not finished. So this is it.
chicken. Nice and sweet. Oops. Nice and sweet. Here it is, guys. So I'm just going to serve this with my roti and let you guys see how I enjoy this. But first I'm going to some of my juicy pineapple chicken to this. Alright. Alright, so there it is. Okay, so this is my pineapple chicken. Mm -hmm. Yes, these are the pineapples. Mm. <laughs> 